Hello! Welcome to Mailbox Goodies! This is just Mailbox Goodies because you will see why actually in just a minute. There are so many things and I don't even know how I would go through all of this in a first impressions. So, uh, I'm Aziza aka Gourmet Pens and they are mowing the lawn outside of all times. Thank you lawn mowers! So, uh, this is a giant stack of stuff. This was sent for review by Kunisawa. Now the thing is, I actually, I saved it because um, they are from Japan, but the thing is they wanted to create notebooks with superior paper feeling, I'm quoting, okay? Superior paper feeling and an unrivaled writing touch, copper gilt edges, processing ensures a remarkably long life. So it's basically like a luxury notebook. Now, I was expecting like two, three notebooks for review. Yeah, that's, this is the shipment. So this is gonna take a few minutes for us to go through. Let's get started. I have the product name listed with the quantity they sent, the measurements, how many, which colors, and the approximate US dollar price because just to give you an idea, I mean, it's going to vary depending on the exchange and where you purchase from, but just to give you an idea. First thing, <laughs> wow, for, uh, no, first thing, I don't know why I held this up. First thing, thank you to Kunisawa for sending these for a review. It's going to take me a while to go through this stuff, and I'm probably going to pick my favorites of the pile. So yeah, anyway, in case you're wondering, what I do with notebooks like this. I usually write drafts, I write reviews. I like, this is what I do with it after I have reviewed the actual notebook. Like I still use the notebooks. It's very handy. Okay, we've got the find file case. There are three pieces. They are gray, they are huge. I'm not gonna talk about measurements unless I recognize the size. Um, but this a three set, I should have opened these. I thought it would be more fun to do it on camera. But now I'm thinking not so much. Okay, a set of three of these is nine US dollars. Now they are like a craft type thickness, craft paper type thickness. Beautiful logo, gold foiled, and it is an expandable folder. This is actually quite useful. I could definitely use this. I have a lot of papers lying around and a lot of papers in really ugly folders. These are sexy folders. So we've got three file folders. That is number one. I'm gonna put them on the ground. Next up, we have um, these. The, wait, let me make sure. Yes, three find ring notes. It is A5 size with a five millimeter graph grid, graph grid, graph ruling and 80 pages, they come in charcoal, white, and gray, and they are approximately 13.50 US each. Now, let's open this. It's got a little belly band. Oh, it's actually a soft cover. I was expecting a hard cover. It's a paper, paper cover. You can see that copper edge, very pretty, it matches the rings. I will say my first impression of the notebooks is that they're very elegant. They are very pretty notebooks, very classy. So there you go. We've got, should I open all of them? Like, do you want to hear this noise? I don't know. This is more about just entertainment, I guess. Oh, mm, that smells nice. Don't act like you don't smell your paper, you weirdos. It's like, oh, I didn't smell my paper. Yes, you do. So there we go, three colors. You know, I will also say, I like the color scheme. I know I usually go for really bright colors, but I'm enjoying this like cool tone thing. It's very elegant. Okay, we're gonna put those down. Got no choice, there's just not enough space up here because there are so many. Next up, we have four hardcover notebooks. Okay, we got four. This is called the Find Note Hard. Also A5 size, five millimeter grids. 
and 193 pages, so it's a little thicker than those previous ones. And they come in light gray, which is obviously this, white, dark gray, and gray. Now these are a bit more pricey at around 26 to 27 US dollars. I do not have one to compare to on hand uh, because I used it up, but it reminds me of the Baron Fake Confident Notebooks, like the color. These are definitely thinner covers. They're hard, but, but still a bit flexible. Again, really nice edging. They're not super bulky, which I like. They do lie flat. I'm a big fan of that. You know what? This is more than just mailbox goodies. It is sort of first impressions. So uh, one of the things I really enjoy is the, the motto is, I do not seek, I find. I don't know. Do you want to seek or do you want to find? Okay, there's hair stuck to me. It's my own hair. Ugh, gross. Let's put that over there. Vacuum it up later. Uh, so this is the white, and that was the gray. We've got a dark gray, which is obviously this one. Dark gray. And we have just a straight up gray. Now, interestingly, the other color covers are like a matte linen, and this one is like a glossy gray, like a metallic gray. Interesting. So these are the four find note hardcover notebooks. They are, as I said, um, $27, $26, $27. So that's actually kind of pricey. So it's more of a luxury notebook. But what I will say again is the presentation is really elegant. That is a really classy belly band, a classy edging and super fancy um, logo. Can speak. Next up we have three find slim notes. These are definitely slimmer. They are A5 size, 40 pages, five millimeter grids in midnight blue, slate gray, and snow white. Okay, let's see where this is going. So classy. The naming is actually quite classy. These have paper covers. Interesting. Same style, like same design. These do not lie flat as easily. You'd have to break the spine. Yeah, you gotta break the spine. That's okay, I don't care. I use my notebooks to death, so. Uh, we've got, that was the Midnight Blue. Next up we have just the gray, which is also the paper cover. It's a matte gray, like a matte finish. I'm trying to get this belly band back in place. And we've got Snow White. I don't know what that was supposed to be. Snow White, very beautiful. But again, these are definitely on the thinner side if we compare it to that previous notebook. That's okay, I mean, maybe you want something more portable. These are $11 each. Not terrible. Okay, all right, let's put that there. Then we have one of this one, which is the Find Note Soft. It is I'm not sure what size this is, but it's 120 by 210 millimeters with a five millimeter grid inside. I'm not, like the funny thing is, I am not a huge grid person. That's my least favorite, well, not least, middle least favorite ruling. I like dots. So, mm, that smells so good. So that kind of sucks, but on the other hand, it's not a really intense grid. Like, I love Rhodia paper, but their grid is so intense that it's like almost obstructive. So this one is nice. I really like this size. I like the thickness. This one does not have edging. Um, it's got like a sort of a plastic feel to the cover. But it's this is one of my favorite sizes. It's like a B6 maybe, B6 slim. Might be a slim. I really like this one. And it's too bad there's only one of them because this might be my favorite one. So yeah, there's that. This one is $22.50 approximately. So not inexpensive, definitely in the luxury area pricing. So let's keep going. We have the Find Smart Note. This is a set of three notebooks. It is available in gray, white, and black. The size is 95 by 167 millimeters. They have 40 pages. Now they have firm covers, but these ones are interesting because they're 
It's $9 for the set of three, which I think is a very fair price. But prepare yourself for this itty bitty mini grid. The mini grid is 2.5 millimeters in size. I have no idea what I would do with a size like this, but it's cute. 2.5 millimeters, that is tiny writing. If you have tiny writing or needlepoint nibs or just really small micro tips, this, this might be the size for you. I think this is a really nice, like, rep not reporter style, but because it's portable style, because it has the hard covers for writing. Who would have thought opening these would be so difficult? It's really cute, though. It's a really cute size. This is a definitely like the slip it in your note, like your purse kind of size, or in your work bag, just like in the front pocket. Pretty cute. I'm liking this. I think what's really neat here is there's a lot of options. So that's pretty cool. Of course, it all will come down to the paper. But right now, it's very happy. There's the three colors, uh, gray, white, black. Very simple, simple coloring. Now, we have the find pocket note. It's a set of three in champagne, gray, and blue mist. These namings are hilarious. Uh, this is a 145 by 90 millimeter notebook with 50 pages. They are $6.75 for the trio. This is reporter style. So we've got the firm back, the coiled top, and you flip it like a steno notebook. Okay, there we go. Still classy. Very elegant still. It's got the five millimeter grid that we were expecting, but this is cute. Yeah, okay. Coolness. I don't mind, uh, I don't mind this concept. I've never really used reporter style notebooks, but I was recently watching Veronica Mars and in it there was a reporter using a reporter style notebook and Wallace was like trying to get information from him and he was like, oh, that's a cool notebook. I've never seen these before. And the guy was like, yeah, it's a reporter notebook. Anyway, please tell me you know what I'm talking about. I, I actually think these are super cool as well. I can see how these would be handy. You're like out and about, you go to a pen show, you want to take some notes on the pens you're seeing. It's like, oh yeah, just scribble it in there. Okay, so we got that trio. Now, we're almost done, don't worry. There's these left. We have, that's, that's two things, not three things. <sighs> we have the Find Block Memo. There's a set of three. These are A7 with the two and a half millimeter grid. So it's gonna be tiny. And they have 80 pages. They come in gray, white, and charcoal. Okay, so these are staple bound. I've seen these kinds of things with Rhodia before, staple bound. Uh, again, with the really cute logoing. And so what you do is you open it and then you fold it back, fold it back like so. Quite portable as well. Maybe not as easy to use as the coiled binding, like if you're on the go, but very portable. Lots of paper in there. So there's three colors, as I mentioned. That was the gray that I showed you. There's a white. Super, sorry, I don't know if I'm going too fast, but I don't want to bore you, like, with all the opening. Uh, super clean colors, very clean and classy overall. So, and there's the charcoal. So that's that one. Next up, and last, we have the Find Sticky Memo. Um, also, it, wow, I just threw three belly bands into my recycling box over there, and all three went in, I'm amazing. We've got these, which are the Sticky Memos. They are also A7, so same size as this, but as the name implies, they are sticky. So you've got this loose cover, okay. Wow, these are like the classiest memos I've ever seen. That's sexy. And then you just, I'm assuming, yeah, you just peel it off and it's sticky. So that's really nice. Very, very pretty. 80 pages each. Oh, sorry. Yeah, let me, before I forget, the the notebooks that I just showed you, these ones. There's a third one somewhere. Here. These ones, the block memo. They're $3.15, so that's actually not terrible. And the the um, the pocket notes were 6 dollars 
I'm sorry. And this last set is about $8. So we have three colors again, charcoal, white, and gray. There we go. This is pretty amazing. There is a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Uh, a lot of notebooks to check out, a lot of products to check out. One thing that's very interesting is there's a huge selection here. Like there's a range of notebook types. There are the coil bindings, there is the sticky pad, um, the staple bound, there are top binding. So did I say that already? Yes, I said coil binding. So, uh, different sizes. Now the thing is that there are not a lot of ruling options as I can see, but if graph is for you, then you're good to go. So, wow, this was this was first impressions mailbox goodies of like 30 notebooks, 36 notebooks. I don't know. You can count them if you want. Holy smokes. Thank you to Kunisawa for sending all of these for a review. I don't know how I'm going to work through them yet, but I will figure it out. And in the meantime, I hope that you have discovered a new notebook. I had never heard of these before and as I was searching around doing a bit of reading on them, I found that Milligram store in Australia carries them. So they are out there. I just didn't know about them. Anyways, thank you so much for watching if you have. Uh, that's everything, because this is just unboxing mailbox goodies. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you haven't already and you would like to be, you can subscribe and give it a like because I would really appreciate it. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. And I appreciate all of your support so much because it allows me to do stuff like this. It allows me to help you find pens and notebooks and stuff that you are seeking. It gives me the opportunity to find the crappy stuff and find the amazing stuff so you don't have to. And I'm just really grateful. Thank you for helping me out. So I'm going to wrap it up. We will see you next time. Bye.